Hey, yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Chris Emilio. Uh, there is this uh, regarding the five days uh, capacity building summit in Dubai. There is uh, a brother that sent a voice note. So I would like you to listen to this voice note. And I believe that you will get the message I'm trying to pass through this voice note. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an opportunity for you to build yourself in this country. It's not all about, you know, I don't know. You have to build yourself. You have to be ready for the future. Guys, you don't know what this event means until you miss it. I, believe me, you don't know what if this event, the impact of this event until you missed it. This is an opportunity for you and me. This is an opportunity for us to become not just a Nigerian but Africans in this country. This is an opportunity. This is the first time this kind of opportunity is coming to us in UAE. Please and please, it is very important you put sentimental aside. Go and register. Go and register. It's not just about hundred dirham. Hundred dirham is money that most of you is not even enough for you in a day. Do you understand? If you cannot pay for the 500 dirham, there is option for 100 dirhams. And you can still come for the 5 days in that 100 dirhams. You are not paying every day. Just one time payment. So guys, let's leave sentimental aside. And let's make this event a wonderful one. My name is Chris Miller. Listen to this voice note and God bless you. Where do you see Nigerians in UAE? You always see them where they are drinking all the time, partying all the time. Nobody cares about improvement, self-improvement. You can be in a job, preparing yourself for another job. The world is evolving. The world is improving. You need to keep up with the world by improving your personality profile, improving your knowledge. We don't know that. And if anybody, you know, you try to, you know, He's lucky enough to have that mentality to update himself. We say he's lucky. He's not lucky. He worked for it. Today, the little job I'm managing, most Nigerians have tried it and they run away because they want something they'll be earning 5 million every month. Equivalent of 5 million every month. You that wants to earn equivalent of 5 million, what is your expertise level? We don't tell ourselves our truth. We complain what others are doing to ourselves. What are we doing to us? Ours, I mean, what others are doing to us? Have we complained what we are doing to ourselves? Damaging our image, damaging ourselves, too much lazy. We walk with hearsay. My friend in Razakayama told me this. My friend in Dubai told me this. My friend in Abu Dhabi told me this. Nobody can make official inquiry to find out what is actually happening? I during the the first ban on Nigerian visas, I met an Indian guy. So we are talking after they have uh, the visa started going all those things. He told me that uh, actually that he made money. The Nigerians helped him to you know revive his business. I said, what business are you into? This uh, agency, do you know visas, all those things, blah, 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 blah. I said, okay. How did Nigerians help you to revive their business? He said that Nigerians feed on what people are saying. So that while they were on that 99.9% .9 of them never knew that visa has started growing at the point. So that he kept on collecting money, you know, telling them that he has applied, that he's pending, cancelled, one reason or the other, but he had never applied any of them. I told him, you are a criminal. You know how Indians behave? He said, what can I do, my brother? It's because we followed, nobody cares, nobody wants to get information 
Even if you tell them the truth, they will tell you it's a lie. I don't know why Nigerians like believing lies more than truth. And we are, you know, allergic to go into the appropriate quarters to get information. There's nothing big in calling immigration their um, customer service number, making inquiry. Nobody will kill you. Calling the appropriate agency in government, making inquiry. I'm so so and so person. I have overstay of so so and so time. Uh, I have money. I don't have money. What can I do? What's the best step to do, to take? They will advise you. You get official version. Try to have an idea of the problem you have. And at the end of the day, you know, you can now seek for alternatives if people are sure you. But within you, you already know what is expected of you. You already know what you should do. But you see, most of us are in such problems. We meet people that will tell us that, ah, forget about it. I know of so and so in Ajman, so and so in Italia, so and so in Abu Dhabi that will, you know, uh, he tried it and he failed. And go and check that story he told you 100% false. Most times we feed ourselves false information, and most of us act on those false information which is not good for us and which is not good for others. We just want to be seen as the only people who have job in UAE, the only people who have doing uh, well in UAE. You see a Nigerian man, he has job opportunities. Instead of giving to his brother, he will ask him for agency fee. Now he's asking for agency fee. He's not in position to give you job. He's not, he doesn't even know the company he's directing you to. Just that somebody told him that somebody told him that somebody, somebody told somebody that told somebody that told somebody that told him that there's a job opportunity here. He start collecting agency fee. And we'll complain of what others are doing to us. You see a Yoruba guy, he's, con he's telling a foreigner, you, you see, you see outside people, they are not good. You see Igbo people are not good. You see an Igbo guy, he's telling you uh, all these courtists in Dubai, they are Yoruba, they are outside, they are Igbo. All those things in front of visitors, in, in front of foreigners cannot help us. It can only tarnish our image. Most of those will complain about Nigeria in front of foreigners. We are giving them information. The more you tell people that Nigeria is not good, the more you give them the right to trample upon you because if they know that your country cannot help you, your country is not good, they know they treat you, they'll say go to hell. After all, what can you do? We must change as a people for others to change the way they treat us. You must present yourself in such a manner that people will respect you and, you know, even if somebody doesn't want to respect you, you'll be forced to respect you by the quality of your attitude. By the quality of what is in you. I discovered one thing in Dubai. In Dubai, they are bright. If you are not of value to them, they throw you away. You are only appreciated when you present a given value. A certain value they can benefit from. I hate all this talk. Uh, what they are doing is not fair. Let's have Twitter page. Let's have this. Let's have that. All those things are bullshit. If we must change the way others treat us, we must first of all change our attitude. Because this nuisance we create to the public must stop. We must condemn it in its totality. Anything you are doing, keep it to yourself. You walk around buildings, you see two, three Africans, two, three Nigerians standing, be discussing rubbish, I don't know. Something you can equally stay in your house and discuss. I mean, it's not fair. Blaming others for our faults. We must change. And if you see that something is happening, officially make reports. I'm very, very angry. I'm ashamed of, for the first time in life, being a Nigerian. A Nigerian. Most of us are stupid. We are not from a given trained family. We always blame others. And we hate to spend money 
to get something get something that is available to our character our personality you create an event put it 50 dirhams somebody will not you say okay let me contribute money for you people eh? that some person will prefer buying drinks food and waste it for 100 dirhams And what's it for 100 dirhams? And then the same person will turn out tomorrow and start blaming you. Nationalities here, even Ugandans are doing better than Nigerians. Why? the Croc City Five Days Young Leaders Capacity Building Summit. Coming up in Dubai, September 1st to the 5th. Register today. We'll, we'll see, see you there. there. Hello, my name is George from London. I support the Croc City Five Days Leadership Summit for young people. It's going to be starting from 1st of September down to the 5th of September. All right, I've registered. I'll be there. Try to register Hello, now. My name is Zainab. I'm Same from so. Birmingham. I support the Crux City Five Days Young Leaders Capacity Building Summit coming up in Dubai from 1st September to 5th September. Register today to participate and see you there. Hey, yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Chris Samilo, and I am the CEO of uh, Branded Kings Travel and Tours, and I am a business developer and a YouTuber in the United Arab Emirates. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will be at five days young leader capacity building summit in dubai so if you have not registered my brother go and register because it's going to be a great event a great opportunity